This tutorial requires beginner to intermediate skills, takes about 30-40 minutes to prep and about 1 hour to apply. That's a pretty cost efficient look because all you need is a little latex flower or something to create the teeth with like alimorph plastic or acrylic nail tips, a dash of color and some blood and then you're good to go. So let's uh, create this looksy monster and we need pancakes to um, to create flappy skin for the head. So basically we pour out uh, liquid latex paste on a plate. When that has dried up we uh, pull it off and paint it with some foundation here. Mix in a dash of white there, so we get that characteristic pale, kind of pale look to that skin. And we top that off with a little bit of brown hairspray color to get it sort of natural looking and not so painted. And uh, then we leave this to dry and head for the teeth. And for that we are going to use Elymorph plastic. You can of course use any substitute if you uh, don't have access to Elymorph plastic. You can buy it in our store on elymax.com slash shop. Um, or you can use acrylic nail tips. Anyways, we make a string like this, flatten it out, and we let it uh, set for, um, for a minute or two until it gets pretty hard. And um, yeah, then we cut out tooth pieces. Malmo. And we need to secure these teeth to something, so again we head to that liquid latex paste, which is just liquid latex and baking flour mixed until it's a paste. Pour out two little shapes like this, this is the upper and lower tooth row, if you will, and then we just stick in the teeth there. Simple as that. You can choose to dry this in 10 second bursts in the microwave. Do not leave it for longer times or the um, helimorph plastic will melt as well. Or you can just leave it to dry overnight. And when it's dry, it's painting time and we are going for a solid black tone here. And once Ellie was ready with the painting and cleaning up, things got pretty gray. So we added a dash of white, we also need to make them a bit dirty so we go in with a yellow tone there as well and mix that in. And then we switch back to white again. And when that's done we apply something that looks like white color but it's actually just hobby glue so that we get a little bit of shine on those teeth. Get a little bit of surface on them, shiny surface, and after that we add additional white again. And then another layer of that glue. Now before we go on to the application, we check out Alien Makeup and uh, her amazing creations. A little of this, a little of that, it's a lot of color, it's some gore, so go check this out. Application time, let's get rid of that hair first with a few bobby pins and a uh, little hertofs as we say in Sweden. On with a wig cap to get the hair out of the way, yeah. And then of course treat ourselves with a little bit of Vaseline here because we don't want any latex or stuff stuck in those brows. Put that bald cap on. And then we bring out the masking tape because we are gonna build a little um, structure on which we can glue our mouthpieces because that's a big smile in the middle of the face there. And of course don't tape over your nostrils in a way that prevents you from breathing because breathing is, um, as you know, it's not optional. <laughs> you need that. And of course the whole mouth will be black, so go on with a black color. This is grease paint. Next up, let's get those mouthpieces in place. With your favorite skin adhesive or liquid latex, we apply that lower part first. Apply a bit of latex on that piece as well. Then slap it on there. And just to make sure it sticks, we add a little bit of um, that masking tape on the edges there as well because it kind of kind of want to bend 
a little, so this will secure it properly. Same goes for that top piece. Slap it on there. And we also secure that one with additional tape. And an effort to extend our chin a little bit. Make that uh, chinless monster actually have a chin. We add a bit of um, cotton balls. Just straight on there with skin adhesive and then um, Again with the tape, strap that along. We we'll build a little structure there as well. And when that's done, we need a reference image to uh, get those skin pieces on the top of the head and on the rest of the face, actually, in the right sizes and in the right places. So we start by painting them out. And then we begin with the puzzle, bringing out our pancakes, our latex paste pancakes. And yeah, simply cut out pieces that uh, fits like a glove. Match up those lines. And we all have different size heads, so this will probably be a bit of different shapes on those pieces and the size as well. But in general, just slap them on there and we are gonna leave that frontmost piece off until we actually have done some paint job on the skull as well because with um, with all the pieces in place you will have a pretty impaired vision you can be uh, of course you can see what you're doing but uh, doing a makeup while you have all those pieces blocking your vision is uh, well it's not advisable so there you go, this piece here needed a little bit of trimming there. Yeah, get that piece out of the way like that. Perfect. Speed drying with a blow dryer, of course, if you want to work faster. I don't want to learn any more Swedish, and Swedish is... Jag vill inte lära mig mer svenska. And before putting that final piece in place, we go in with a paint job. This is a um, deep purple tone and we want that in between those, those cracks there. All that flappy stitched together skin needs to have some color in between there. And we wanted this Luxie monster a bit more rough and horror like than the actual crypt tv version here so we go in with a larger brush we smudge out all that purple and add a bit of black along the lines there as well for additional shading purpose now he looks really rough and then of course a little bit of thick gooey coagulated blood Slap that on there and those cracks in between the skin pieces and again go in with a larger brush to sort of rough them up going outwards from those lines. Kind of looks streaky down from the edges there. Pretty cool, pretty cool. And with that done it's time to attach that last piece, fit that in place, go in and add Additional paint job there on the edges, same as the other ones. Put on those red mittens with a cut of fingertips, and then you need the necessary evil mouth FX. And this is black goo that's meant to go in your mouth, in this case the monster's mouth. Some black goo running out there. Nasty. And of course black fingertips with some black hairspray color. And when that's done, you are ready with your Luxy Monster from Crypt TV. And I bet that at a dim lit Halloween party, this will look the bomb for show. Sure. If you like this look, give it a thumbs up. If you loved it, give us a subscribe on that button. And don't forget, next week Ellie's coming to Comic Con Paris, so don't miss that. Take good care, everyone. We will love you. Goodbye.